Creating a drop-down menu is easy to do in the page builder by showing and hiding elements. In this guide, you'll create one menu panel and two menu buttons, one inactive and one active, that will switch the menu from hidden to visible on mouse click. Please note this tutorial is for a drop-down menu that is click-based. Creating mouse leave slash enter based drop-down menus is not currently advised. So first, create two buttons, one inactive, i.e. the one that will be shown on page load, and one active, which is the one that will show when your menu is clicked. So, in the page builder, create a menu button using a text or image element. This will be your inactive menu button. With your inactive menu button selected, go to General Settings in its Properties panel and enter a name, e.g. button 1 inactive. Then make sure its visibility settings are set to Start Visible Selected Element Only. Next, clone your menu button and change the name to something like Button 1 Active. Now this is the button that will show when your menu is active, so you might want to change its colour or add a shadow. For now, place it next to your inactive button and set it to Start Hidden Selected Element Only. So now, create your menu panel which will contain the options. So, add a panel element from the elements tray, resize it, and move it directly underneath your inactive menu button. Then add text links and make sure they're contained within the panel. With your menu panel selected, change its name using the Properties panel, e.g. Menu 1. Then change its visibility settings to Start Hidden Including Contents. Next, adding actions to each of these buttons makes it possible to show and hide the menu on click. So, with the inactive button selected, click on Actions in the top toolbar. And under Element Triggers, add three actions with these settings. Then select the Active button. Open the Actions panel again, and under Element Triggers, add these three actions.
Finally, move the active button element directly on top of the inactive button element. Click Save. And then Preview. If everything works as it should, you'll be able to click your inactive button element, which will trigger actions to both hide the inactive button, show the active button and show the menu. Clicking the active button should hide the menu and hide the active button element showing the inactive button again.